so this is austrian 2006 and uh, here in this system mass is given as a uh, 12.5 and uh, spring stiffness is k and then uh, damping coefficient c also given what is the first bit here the critical damping so we need to find out uh, cc cc is again 2 into square root of k into m so that equal to 2 into square root of what is the k k is the 1000 into m 12.5 5. So, this value is 223.6 Newton second per meter. This is the bit number 78. And uh, next one is the, what is the value of a logarithmic decrement. So, this is also the straightforward. So, a st logarithmic decrement formula is delta equal to 2 pi j divided by 1 minus j square, square root. So here we need to find out the xi value. So what is the xi? Xi equal to c by cc. So what is the value of c here? That is a 15 divided by 223.6. So that value is a, you know 0 0.06708. So if I substitute this value in this one, this will become 25 into 25 into 0 0.067 divided by 1 minus 0 0.067 square square root and uh, this value is uh, 0 0.42 the, even though it looks like this this is a you know standard form so what is the standard form that is a uh, m into x double dot plus a c x dot plus a k x equal to 0 so if you divide with the m and uh, you know write in this uh, symbols then uh, it will convert to this equation so here omega n square is a you know k by m and uh, again c by m so what is the value of c by m that is again you know uh, you know uh, this can be written as uh, for example what is the value of c c equal to z into cc critical damping so what is the critical damping again the critical damping equal to 2m omega n so z into 2m omega n so what is the c by n c by m equal to 2z omega n so this is the value here so if you substitute these two values in this equation this equation this is a you know simply becoming like this so this is again the standard form and here what they have given uh, one more thing is you know uh, displacement or the amplitude where n of at t equal to 0 so at the initial value they have given amplitude so let's say this is x1 which is given as a capital x so now we need to find out the and here velocity is 0 initial velocity and uh, we need to find out the amplitude at a distance you now after n complete revolution so here we need to find out uh, xn what is the xn and this is a this is a damped vibration and we know how damped vibrations are you know mm, um, dying down so for example if this is the one and uh, this will become like this you know slowly this vibration will uh, reduces or the amplitude of the vibration will reduce because the because of the damping in the system so this is the x1 here and this is the x1 and this is x2 here this is x2 and after n revolution it will become xn and we have seen the derivation for this you know um, that is here in this one x1 by x2 equal to e power delta where delta is the logarithmic decrement and uh, this 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 value is a constant for the any successive you know uh, ratio of the amplitude that means here I can write that uh, x1 by x2 equal to x2 by x3 equal to x3 by x4 and so on this will be equal to the you know e power delta and what if I multiply these uh, now what I do is I will multiply these these you know uh, ratios so when I multiply these ratios what happens so now it will become x1 by x2 
into x2 by x3 and so on here x n minus 1 by x n and here before this it will become x n minus 2 by x n minus 1 so this will this will get cancelled and uh, this will this will get cancelled only here only x1 by xn will remain in the final form and uh, this is equal to the e power delta so e power delta into e power delta how many times e power delta n times this is n times so this is uh, equal to the e power n delta so now we need to find out the xn and uh, what is the delta value that we already know delta equal to the delta equal to you know uh, 2 pi z 1, 1 divided by square root of 1 minus z uh, square so i will substitute this delta value and uh, i need uh, xn xn equal to you know x1 into e power minus n delta so x1 is a uh, capital x into e power minus uh, 2 pi n z divided by square root of 1 minus z square so this is the our final answer so what is the option here this is the option here